Before we begin, I would like to take a quick moment to thank all of my supporters on Patreon. Now, on to the video! Okay. Alright, so it's been a while since we've played Spartan Ops. <laughs> a bit. A bit. Just a bit. Um, I really kind of don't remember a lot. I know they had that artifact thing. Scientists touched it. He got transported into it. And the Covenant's like, or not the, you know, the, arb not the Arbiter, but, you know, the... Band. It's the, like, Covenant Remnants? I, I think Remnants was the actual term that they were using. Okay. Because it was just a bunch of people who were just, like, at the end of Halo 3, when the Prophets were dead and the Covenant was dissolved, they are like, no, we kind of still believe in this. Yeah, they, they got the scientists, and the scientists are going to talk to stay alive, which, oh my gosh. All right. If you watched, I don't know which episode, but I still don't have a gaming chair. <laughs> so, oh. still, still look, I'm still on the lookout. Mom's like, you need to get a chair fast. You're ruining the chair you're on. It's the dining chair. And I'm like, I don't see it, but okay, sure, Mom. Um, I love you, Mom. All right, here we go. You ready? Yes. Three. All right, you count it down. Okay, three, two, one, go. Man, I missed the Halo Waypoint app. It was fun. It was an app? Yeah. It was a separate app on 360. I'm just curious, that's all. Whatever, man. Have fun. Dr. Halsey, Spartan Thorn, I'll be your escort for the day. You knock, at least. Most people don't. Oh. Looks like we better get you to work. I kind of... I would want Jane Lynch to play Catherine Halsey. I don't know why. Don't ask. I understand you worked with the original I think I could see it. I'm afraid it's all still quite classified. Actually, wait, there's an actress who looks just like her. The original Spartans were... The problem with any children. character in this of, like, getting into live action is the voices is what people recognize so much. Yeah, okay, wait, back up, back up, back up. I didn't hear what they said. Okay, I backed it up All to right. 55. 55? Yeah, I'll, right. I'll have to look up the actress and, like, I'll do it after this. Okay. All right. Already? Give me the countdown. Three, two, one, go. But the original Spartans were conscripted as children. I did what was required. But why children? Why do you think... Well, it could have given them an edge, starting that young, not knowing anything else. Ooh. There were many reasons behind the choices we had to make. So she wasn't the only person. Physiological. Oh yeah, it was a group of people funding her and she worked together with Oni. So you don't think we're capable of being Spartans? No. Perhaps some of you are closer than others. If you'll excuse me, please. You Roland, bring to... up REQ-15. Wait, wait shit. I, presume you I didn't see what that said. Pause it, pause it, pause it. It just basically said, like, hey, Dr. Halsey, we've got stuff to talk about. We have That's it. You need to know the truth about a great many things. Okay. All right, we were at 148. Okay, I backed it up to 143. All right, give me a second to get there. All right, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. REQ 153 N. I'll ask questions after. You Sorry. Started before the tragedy. Please, Roland. Castle team just got hit running supplies into Copernicus. Copernicus. A science base. Looking for the librarian AI that Master Chief encountered? Instead, they found something else. Jewel and Dama. Yeah. Because Requiem wasn't messed up enough. So, Mr. Thorne, what interest is my research to you, specifically? I enlisted with the Spartans because... Armor cool. I was in the army a year before my family and friends were killed in New Phoenix. I always thought the Spartans were special. Maybe I could have saved them. And 
Does it help you, help your grief, being here on Requiem, shooting at, what do they call them, Prometheans? Gotham. Prometheus oh. stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. I'm simply curious what gifts, if any, the Promethean life forms have to offer. They're forerunner robots. Mm. Hard light and battle armor, ruthless, brutal. What can they offer us? Nothing but trouble, Doctor. They're simply killing machines. Interesting. Dr. Halsey. Quiet, please. I'm working. Come on. Let me. Love, uh, I keep telling you people I don't speak Sengali. Progress. I've got to have better equipment. More materials. You're, you're giving me two sticks to rub together here, technologically speaking. Ah! Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, there's no need for a translation there. You're saying there's an actual living forerunner inside of this thing. Huh. I wonder what she can tell us. He's like a ripped elite. Hey, he's the biggest. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look up this person because it's gonna bug me. Who? Um, person who looks like Catherine Halsey. You just gonna Google person who looks like Catherine Halsey? No, I googled <laughs> old white actress. Um, Fantastic. That'll get you. She came up immediately. A lot. Okay. Shit. What's her? Helen, I want to say it's Helen Mirren. It's not Helen Mirren, but... Helen Mirren! It is Helen Mirren! I can't believe I didn't... Can't say I'm familiar with that. Okay, look her up real quick. They would never be able to afford her, but... Because she's, like, iconic. Um... I could see it. She looks like the CGI version of her, though can't say it's a, per a perfect resemblance but yeah i could see how it i it think it's work. pretty darn close all right i am ready all right harry call tap the new covenant com network You're still uwu. Yep. Let's see if I remember how all my keys are. Okay, I think that's the Crimson. We're on the hunt for Jewel and Dama. This hingehead freak's been killing good soldiers on Requiem, including the Spartans of Kessel. Good soldiers. Today, we're taking the first step towards getting revenge. We don't care about the bad ones, only the good ones. Oh, my sensitivity is a little low. Hold on, I'm gonna change that real quick. Go for it. Where do I do this? Does this mean I'm getting better? Because my probably. I mean. When you have a small mouse pad, a higher sensitivity can be good. When you got a big one like mine, you really want a small sensitivity. Uh, my friends and I have been playing a little Left 4 Dead too. I saw, yeah. Am How I you like it? I like it. Um, I'm not great. I mean, like no one, no one's great Left 4 Dead too. You just play it to have a good time with three friends. Yeah, yeah, but like. Am I still an asset to the team, though? Yeah. Like, am I getting the most zombie kills now? But.
Megan just got on Halo. I saw her show up on my Steam overlay. Oh, shit. Okay, it crouches this. So I started playing Fallout 76. Alright, first impressions. I gotta hear this. Um, I've literally in five minutes and I made my character. That's enough. What do you think? Um, I love it so far. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. I really want... Okay. So... Have you been keeping up with all the drama with the Rust stuff in the streamer world? Oh, no, I have not. Once I stopped playing that server, I, or running that server I ran, which, no, I'm not giving anyone in the comments any details about it. I'm not leading to that community. We're on good terms. I just, I don't want to go back to playing Rust. Fair, fair, fair. Well, um, okay, here's the dealio. Here's the dealio. So a bunch of, like, streamers, YouTubers and stuff started as, I don't know how it started, but a couple of them did a server, and it was very wholesome, very roleplay y you know? And so more streamers and more YouTubers got the key and they would give it out, you know, the server and stuff. And so, s sure enough, some, like, old Rust users were like, man, none of you are being toxic to each other and stealing each other's shit, so... Um, I know. Um... Oh, I'm pressing E. Shit, that's... There we go. Um, sorry, I forgot what my melee button was. I guess, like, some old, like, veteran Rust users got a hold and were able to get in, were hiding in bushes and doing all the toxic shit that they had to put up with. Um, and so it kind of ruined it for people. I don't know the full details. I only, like, that's pretty- I might have that all wrong. But I was watching a couple streamers and YouTubers roleplay, um, and I was like, that looks so fun. Cause like, I play, I love playing survival games like that, like. Yeah, ultimately Rust is a pretty fun game when you, for me at least, and for you, I'm guessing, when the fear of someone overnight ruining all of your progress isn't there. Yeah, and so I really want that cause I feel like so many of these games I play as like solo and I just have to go onto a random server and just pray that no one, you know, like, let's hope. Yeah. But I want to play with friends and stuff. Like, have a whole role play thing. Like, we create a community and stuff. Yeah, I mean, Rust is a pretty fun game. Oh, I yeah. enjoy it. There is a pro the problem of, like, face punch forces your servers to wipe every so often. Mm. So your progress won't be permanent. Um, and some servers do it, like, weekly wipes. Some do daily wipes, which, ooh. Some do uh, bi-weekly, some do it monthly. Monthly takes forever, it's not fun at all. But it's basically the whole gameplay loop that Face Punch has created that, yeah, the toxic players are a little bit right about is, like, it's it's a raiding game. You just raid others for supplies, you build up a base, raid others, and then the whole thing starts a week later. So but, I... like, if you're creating a community where you say, we don't want to do that, then... Don't invade that server and do that. Yeah. Well, like, I'm excited. I got Craftopia. I budged and I got it. And it's still very early access. But, oh my gosh, the potential of this game is phenomenal. You're having a t Oh, God, I fell. You're having a ton of fun playing a lot of early access games. I've been seeing. Yeah. Um. Oh, hunters. Grenade. 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 But Commander, I'm running diagnostics as fast as I can. I know eating all green lights. Best guess is the cubbies have a jamming system on one of those ships. Like I remember Rust early access. I remember it before they revamped the entire game. Because I've had Rust since some of the early days. Um and back then it was it was even more toxic than it is. No, no, I wanna rephrase that. It was not as toxic as it is now. But then they revamped a lot of systems, and honestly, the most fun I've ever had playing Rust was when they were like, all right, so we have Legacy Rust, and then we have the new Rust we're building, and the new Rust we're building is like, we have none of the gameplay mechanics in. Like, I remember when they first put in building uh, inclines into the new engine, and so they gave everyone on test servers, like, infinite building stuff, and so people just built stairways to heaven everywhere. It was hilarious, because it was just people messing around with whatever new function was in the game at the time. Did he just- did you see that? I saw part of it. He killed his buddy! Oop, 
stuck him. That was good. Holy shit. Um. Oh wait, I, I should get ammo. Um. But I really want to do that. Luca's been talking about like, oh, Minecraft and stuff. I like Minecraft. I don't love Minecraft. I am someone who is a very visually stimulated person. So graphics kind of do matter. Don't like vanilla Minecraft. I, I want to go out on a limb and say that. I, I, I had fun with it back in the day, and I really don't have any interest in going back to it. However, modded Minecraft is a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun. You're still, you probably won't like it because you're still constrained by like the blocks and stuff. Yeah. Um, though you could, you could do some fun stuff with that. But it's just for me, it's like, all right, I got these cool machines that make it more efficient. I got things that'll mine the world for me. I've got things that are basically creating magic. I can cast spells. Like, I can do all sorts of crazy stuff on modded Minecraft. But I... I'll still have the same mindset of like, I played it for a month and now I'm bored. Yeah, I should show you Craftopio sometime. Cause once the main story's out, I think, I think it's like, it's maybe not quite a triple A level game, but it's like maybe a double A. I don't even know if that's a thing. Uh, it's becoming a thing. Okay. Double A games are absolutely becoming a thing. Okay, and it's made by three people, I believe. Yeah. Like, it's Like, I'd already start to vet, like, there's indie games, and I think those indie games are cool, but I think indie is where double A and, sing and single A games are, where, like, I, I'd, I'd argue Destiny 2 right now is going from a triple A game to more of a double A game. Mm. I'm gonna get some hate for that. I um, still think it's a triple A. It's a big studio. It's an indie studio, though, and that's why I'm like, ooh. But you know ooh. what I mean. Because we, we're watching Destiny 2's content drop. Ooh. I'll have Look, to- We aren't liking that. I'll have to stream for you sometimes so you can see the mechanics of the game and stuff. It's pretty much Breath of the, um, yeah, Breath of the Wild and Ark yeah. and like all those survival games had a child. Nice. Like, what would you consider uh, Stardew Valley to be? Indie or double A? Double A. I think it yeah. began as an indie. I think it has grown because of the fans and the yeah. following it's gotten to be a double A. But it's incredible for having only one person. And like the guy got a desk last year, which great yeah. for him. <laughs> I just feel like as long as we have games like Call of Duty as triple A, uh, that kind of dilutes the whole pool. Like, yeah, Call of Duty's a big budget production every year and stuff, but like, I don't want to say it's the same game every year, but it's a similar game every year. Modern, War Modern Warfare was a huge step in the right direction for Call of Duty, and Cold War was a bunch of steps back. I don't know if I've said this before, but I really want a game that sort of like Sims and like Ark and stuff combined, where like, there are NPCs. You can get married to the NPCs. You can have kids and stuff, like generations occur, but you can build a world and there's combat and stuff, you know? And it's, I mean, that's a huge feat to take a, undertake, you know, but. Speaking of Sims, when do you think Sims 5 is gonna hit? They have announced nothing about it. I just, are they- It was, have, uh, they were supposed to make an announcement football. last year. I think, I think next year, late year. We'll hear about it. I think, or yes. it'll release. I think we'll hear about it this year. I think we'll yeah. earliest is next year. Earliest, most likely yeah, though, two you, more years. Yeah, you and I played a ton of Sims two and three, a ton, and we we and didn't four. really feel the I same way about four. Sims four. You yeah, played four Sims four? I did. I didn't like it as much though. I. Because yeah. Sims 4 lost the open world aspect of the game. It really did. Which was such a big draw for me. That you could just click and go anywhere and your Sims could be all over the map and stuff. Um, that was the coolest thing going from 2 to 3. Mm -hmm. Was the open world. You remember in 2 where it would like, you'd load into every single building? Yes. And then oh, in Sims 3, was it, you just watched your Sim walk there. And that was the coolest thing. Um, but yeah, I really want like a mashup of like, is this the right mission? I oh, will find out. Oh yeah. Cause we're looking for Jewel and Dama. Yeah. I was like, I recognize this map. I'm like, we did this twice in a row last time. 
Yeah, but I really, like, Craftopia, I'm really excited for once it gets the main storyline. Like, it's pretty much everything I've asked for in a game. It's really nice when you find that game, isn't it? Okay, except I don't know if it has romances and stuff. Know what game I'm psyched for? What? Rune Factory 5. Because that's, like, really pretty much everything I want in a game. Farming simulator. You can tame animals. There's romance. There's a town you can build up and help out, you know? With shop systems. Yeah. And there's combat. And a story. Um, I'm also really excited for Story of Seasons, um, Pioneers of Olive Town. I already have it pre-ordered. I, um, reached out to the PR company, because I'm on a bunch of, like, PR websites to ask for, like, PR keys. To be like, hey, can I review your game and stuff? Well, I couldn't find where Exceed Games, where they are, so I reached out to their PR company because I have the contact info for a lot of these games, I mean, companies and stuff, and I just straight up was like, Hi, I would love to review your game and stream it. I'm like, that's who I am. I mean, go for it. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what you're allowed to say on camera, what you're not, so... But, I don't, I mean, I, I just emailed them, so I don't think that's, like, wrong to say I asked, you know? I doubt it either. As long as you're not, like, giving out the email or anything. Oh, gosh, no! No, 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 no. I still get jealous sometimes when you send me stuff. What do you mean? Like, you'll, se you'll send me the videos you've completed for people, and I'm like, what?! Like, I remember, I remember when you... When your Discord found out you were in the AFK Arena ads and you were, they were posting the ads to air, I was like, "What? Is yeah, the first time of this? Yeah, this is amazing. I wasn't allowed to say anything. Oh my god, it's so crazy, man! Like you're doing all these things behind the scenes, and I know nothing about it. Like back when you were in theater, you'd be telling me all the stuff of like behind the scenes of like how things are going with the cast and stuff. And even though I didn't care back then, it was cool. Now I'm just like, I have no idea what my sister's doing. I have no idea. Because I'm not allowed to tell you. Because <laughs> embargoes and stuff. Ugh. Also, you are a gamer as well, so if I said something, you would know. Oh, I would. I would. Like, I've been in my fair share of betas and uh, alphas that were completely NDA. So, like, yeah, I, I get it. You really want to tell people, but you're like, but I kind of want to be able to do this again and not get blacklisted. <laughs> And, like, I get that. I've been in situations, not, like, producing a game and stuff, but where someone leaked the news and it ruins it, so... It does. It really does. I get it for these companies. I absolutely understand. But it's, like, the same time, like, I'm playing Persona 5, and mm -hmm. in the Persona 5 Discord, and I'm seeing them post things about, like, hey, I think there's gonna be a... a uh, get together soon with uh, AFK Arena. I think there's gonna be this of like them posting their own leaks and stuff. And I'm just like, oh wow, cool, it's a mobile game, whatever. And then suddenly I just check your Discord and see people are like, holy shit, look! And I'm like, what? Did you get to, did you tell your AF of Lele, your that words, Persona 5 Discord, like, yeah, that's my sister? No, I'm not like active in the Discord. I just stayed there for their emotes, but, um, Megan actually got your ad the other day. Whoa! Yeah, she got it. She's like, yeah, I saw your sister in an ad. I haven't seen myself still, yet. Well, I know, I haven't seen it either, and I want to. Then again, there's a bunch of stuff we're doing at my job that, like, can't tell. Can't tell. Fair. Sir. The concept of trade secrets, just like, oh my gosh. I understand it, though. I get it, but it's just so annoying. Because, like, take example AMD and NVIDIA. Like, they've got their secrets, and they're also sharing a bunch of stuff between the two of them. Wait, AMD and what, did you say? Or not NVIDIA, my bad, Intel. Sorry, yes. we're talking CPUs here. Whew, sorry. They had their um, conference or thingy the other day. I watched- Looking forward to those mobile chips. That's I, that's gonna be huge. I watched a little bit of it, but I didn't understand what was going on. Yeah, that's that's not really your shtick. Just hang on, just hang on. I can see him.
Alright, here we go. Yeah, the Wraith was there. I was like, I got this, I got this. See? Look! Nailed it. Oh, that's our guy. Sure, I'm so sorry, sir. My camera just freaked out and I thought I got shot. Understandable. Let's see if we can get him in. Join the van. Join the party. Oh! Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, I just—they keep disappearing on my butt. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh uh, no, we didn't. You got kicked out, but I stayed in it. So I was like, "All right, here we go." Oh boy. Yeah, these aren't really helping with the Prometheans. I had something in my. Oh, you got... The binary rifle. Yeah. Also, we're just surrounded by shotguns. I and hate shotguns. I know a lot of people like, use the guns in your surrounding, it's a hint and stuff. Yeah, well, I don't like shotguns, so too bad. Thank you. Got him. Thank you oh. so much. Look up. Yeah, I know. I saw the thing. Point out those shotguns don't really help. We got him, we got him. Shaboom. Oh! Boom. Is that it? Damn it, you're gonna beat me. Damn it! Bitch. Got him. I remember this was the coolest thing back in the day. If you love me, when, like, let me go! <laughs> when suddenly, like, the multiplayer maps were changing? It's like, what? I just love how I got yeeted into the portal. It's like, take your shit and get out. Alright, give me a sec here. I want to check the challenges for this week. Okay, well, I'll get it set up. <sighs> oh gosh, okay, I gotta have a sip.
right, let's go. Okay. I'm also rocking my Game Better with Butterfinger sweatshirt. Yes, if you are a company looking to sponsor me, please, my email is in the description. And if you're a company looking to waste sponsorship money, you could sponsor me. I will do nothing with it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have to, like, contractually do stuff. I'll wear it to work. <laughs> the money? No, any merch I get. No, yes, the money. I will tape it to my polo shirt. <laughs> My boss shows up. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm wearing that sponsorship It's casual Friday. Money. It's casual day. Wow, I really don't appreciate that while I'm trying to choose my gun. Oh, they got rocket launchers. Yes, they do. This person needs to get a better audio set up. Mm. <laughs> I still desperately want to figure out how to do a setup where it sounds like the old Xbox mic. Why? That was nasty. You're gonna film a video of me one day, and I'm just gonna come in and talk about a tin can. I'm gonna be like, all right, uh, get off, get your good headset on, and then we'll start. <laughs> like, what is the shenanigans? Like, you, you, I don't know if you played with me back then, but you remember like the old, old, old Xbox Live days? Yes, I remember when it first came out. everyone's mic sounded terrible. Yes, I remember it was like a huge deal if you had a mic. That's what I want to go back to. And so, like, like everyone's yelling sounded the same. It was the same high-pitched, you're peaking your mic, wargle. You either sounded like a man or a 13-year-old girl. There was yep. no difference. There's no in between. Yeah, that's what I meant, you know. I still go back to some of those old YouTube videos from then, and I just miss it. I'm pressing. I'm holding. Do we both have to be there? No, it just didn't Let's register. I don't know why. Drop pod from where? There. Or left, you dingus. No, I mean, look up. It's a ceiling. There's oh, no ships. Fair. Oh, broken warthog. I got excited. The atmosphere. You me both, buddy. How dare you? I'm kidding. So what are they really? They're a portal nexus, just like back at those towers. I thought it'd be obvious by now. Roland's like, keep up, you guys. Of course. Can I turn on the waypoints for Crimson? It's exciting being part of an app. Go ahead. Hey, protocols, Miller. There you are, Crimson. Get up there. I command it. I love you, Roland. I do like Roland. He's such a mood. That was a waste, but you know, it's fine. Hey, I made a bubble. Come up top, look, I made a bubble. I'm proud of my bubble. I'm gonna put it on the fridge. Oh, we gotta go down. Don't worry, I got it. Uh, too late. Oh, I got the other one. Teamwork! I'm Skyriming this shit. I 
I'm 90% sure I just had a plasma grenade fly through my head rather than stick me. Where's it? What? What? Oh, you got it. Oh, I don't even think I pressed anything. No! I didn't have any grenades or else I sh that would have been a really good time to use a grenade because you probably pretty much can't miss. Another? Yeah, I don't think they're liking what we're doing. <gasps> what? He came running at me with a sword. Now it's my sword. I'll take you all on! I'm ready! How about- oh god, he got me. My sword ran out of juice. How- How what? I've been shooting at this grunt. I'd been shooting at him for a while, and yet he still had not died. Is it me, or are the elites bigger in this game? I think they're bigger, but I also think the Spartans in Halo 4, like, Spartan Ops, are shorter. Ah, uh, yes, because they didn't get all the genetic augmentation. They're the big beefy boys. So is this a kill everyone kind of deal, or...? I think... Since they're highlighting a... them... Oh, I there's got There's a whole here. bunch of unmarked enemies down there, though. There's a hunter. Waypoint. Don't know oh! what it is. Of course it's upstairs. I was upstairs, but I died. Well, I'm running, because there's hunters. Woo! That was quick. Yeah. Good. I know. <laughs> Sometimes it's I had this argument uh, or discussion with Alex last night about um, the Mandalorian, where some of the episodes were really long and some were really short. And I told him, like, look, if they can not pad out an episode and just tell the story they want to tell, good. This, Don't waste my time. Is this us? Are we on the third one? No, we're on the fourth one. Thank you. Okay. So, yes, what you were saying. Because here's the dealio. Edgar Allan Poe, accredited inventor of a short story, excuse me, came up with the idea, supposedly, that everything in a story should serve the plot. Everything there, every word, everything has to be there for a reason. Yeah. Yes. As, a th as someone who does theater, a form of storytelling, yes. Everything should be there for a reason. And unfortunately, sometimes the reason is it's entertaining. Which makes me sad. That's lazy storytelling, if you ask me. By the way, speaking of uh, Disney and entertaining, I watched the new WandaVision last night. Yeah. Well, now everyone knows when we record this, but <laughs> it was fantastic. That's what I've been hearing. It was mainly set up, but honestly, what they're setting up, awesome. Did you see? Okay, so there's that, not face app, I forget what it is, but it's like, it puts your face on, like, characters and stuff. Videos and stuff. Yeah. Did you see I did it for um, Scarlet Witch? And, like, we're identical a little bit. Like, Wanda? Yeah. You gotta. You gotta cosplay that. Did you know this? Did you know that I looked like her? For a while. See, it's so weird, because you don't know what you look like. You know? So what are we trying to do right now? Oh, God. Yeah, I sent off the thingy. 
The doors are closed though, so of course enemy drop ships. So now we're gonna fight. Uh. Yeah, that's right, come up to this tower. I'm on the turret. Dare you? Also, Megan's playing Halo right now as well. She's playing Halo One. Does she want to join the Spartan Ops? Probably not. Okay. She's playing with her boyfriend. Does he want to join Spartan Ops? Probably not. I think they're playing it in order. Ah, uh, okay. That's cute. Yeah. Olivia's in front of the screen. Okay, this is good. Hi. Hello. Someone came on my stream and they didn't know Olivia was my cat. That's one switch. What if they think she was? Just a friend. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. This is all this mission is. Honestly, great. Oh boy. Olivia? Oh, that was a little bit of a seizure warning. I'm gonna have to put a little seizure warning. On the topic of seizure warnings, I still don't know how Incredibles 2 did not. They, they no, they, they just like in the writers' room let that happen. Sort of like Cyberpunk almost went. That pissed me off. It's ridiculous. Finally, you can tell your story without flashlights. You, you just can't. Shit. I think I see what you said. Oh shit about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ran out of ammo right as yeah. I was like, you got him. I got him. Oh, okay. Oh my. Gosh damn, I hate jackals. They're just annoying. They just start just... Ugh. They ate up so much of my ammo in Halo 1. Because I didn't know how to really take them down very effectively. And you were new. Yeah. Like you gotta hit him in the crit spot, and then you go for the head. And it's just... When your aim ain't great, or they're moving around really quick, or other people are shooting at you as well, it's a bit of a hassle. We just canceled out each other's grenades. Dude, nice. our grenades hit each other. Well, it got me killed, but. Yeah, I lived. Oh, big boy. Crimson, keep up pursuit. I'm gonna encourage our hinge head to slow his pace a bit. 
Why? Oh, okay. Forget, I can't be so leaned into the computer. That's why I start getting headaches playing Halo and stuff. Also, because there's so much on the screen going on. You get used to it. And I'm wearing my blue light blocking glasses, but guess what? Shotguns. Yeah. I'll take that scatter shot. He got through the portal. In one piece? Unclear. But he dropped something. Crimson, have a look. A looky loo? Okay. Is that it? Is that the Didact's gift? That? Don't touch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to poke it. Someone get me a stick. Prep your labs. I want a good look at it before I let it on board Infinity. Um, okay. I touched it. Hang tight. We'll have you arrive to Galileo Base shortly. Whack it. Two ADHD kids. Whack it. I just love how I shot it and immediately after, don't touch it. <laughs> we just hold E to grab. Don't! It's like, oh. How did, how did she know? So I got this desk humidifier. It's the, okay. So we technically got it for mom for Christmas for her desk. But she was like... I don't know. You try it, Morgan. See if it works. And it's not what I thought it was. Because I thought it'd be like hot steam. Because I thought it'd be great for her skincare and stuff. So yes. I've been using it. It's cool steam. And it's like, like, I'm like feeling it and it's not wet. Because like I have a humidifier in my room that's like hot steam. You feel the air. It's very moist and stuff. But let me tell you, this is, I think it's been really great for my allergies. My allergies have been bad this entire year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but... Because, you know, your allergies... I'm gonna about to get a little medical. Deal with it. Um, and I'm about to say the M word. If you don't like it, I'm so sorry. Not really, but... The what? The M word. Moist. Oh, okay. Um... So, with allergies, like increases the moisture in your nasal cavities and stuff so like you know mucus stuff production increases and stuff well i take zyrtec and that decreases the amount of stuff that your body makes naturally but as a singer and a voiceover person actor i am supposed to it's like not the right moisture with allergies, but I am supposed to keep it all wet and lubricated. That sounds really gross and weird. But, because voiceover, you have things called mouth clicks, where it's like, we audibly don't hear them when people talk, but in a mic that's super sensitive, it picks it up. Um, and so you do things to minimize it, such as hi keeping hydrated and stuff. But I think this has been helping. Haha. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, come on.
Gotta get my way to the armory. This mission specifically, I remember when it came out. This was the week where I, I could say I last played Halo 4 a lot, was when this released. It was a sad time. Oh, man, my weapons despawned. I got a sniper rifle. You picked the, my, my sniper rifle. Congratulations. Or no, did you grab it from a box? Yeah. Oh, where's the box? Over here. This grunt cannot drive. And I cannot aim. Okay, close to I will say about Halo 1 and 2 that made me mad sometimes maybe 3 I don't really remember there were some moments I would spend forever trying to do one part of the mission and it would frustrate the crud out of me like why wasn't I getting this you know like trying to take out all the enemies run across and I'd always end up dying and then the time the times I would Leroy Jenkins it and just try and sprint through without sprint because you know those would be the times I would succeed Yep. That's how it works. I was just like... Oh, I was like, where is everyone? Yeah, Same. Sago burr. Oh, <laughs> took me a second to figure out what you said. Saw go burr. So, just curious, this is designed to be co op and stuff. How do I spawn in by myself? Would there be less enemies, or is it the same? I'm pretty sure it's the same. Hmm, that sucks. It would have taken me longer then. Cause part of me was like, damn, Lucas, your schedule sucks. This is taking forever. Little busy guy. Why did she have to say that like that? Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the guns to power uh, a miniature sun. That's a good idea, right? Everyone. No. No, but why did that? Why did she have to say it like that? That line. Oh no. Dad, yeah. You fucking did it. Like she sounded like she's like, oh no. I actually really wanted him to. Oh. Like girl. Girl, calm the fuck down. That was a choice in the VO studio, girl. And a choice I do not support. But I'm happy you made a choice. Got him. 
Sniping the turret grunt out of phantoms just feels so good. Hello? There's just an arrow in the air. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that too. Watch out, Crimson. I'm also curious why headshots don't only crack shields and don't actually pop them. Hunters. Well, thank God we have mongies. Cause those do jack poop. We got a couple of mongi. Mongies. It's mongi. Mongies. Look in your heart, you'll know it to be true. No. <laughs> Hello? Had to get a new saw anyway. There we go, my gosh, how many things does it take down, does it take to take down a hunter? Where'd he go? Imagine hunters with shields. You mean other than the ones they have? They have shields. That's a big thing they hold up. <laughs> okay, ha 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 ha. Today I made poached eggs on toast. I'm nice. going to cook. The forerunner tech Crimson Tapped is paying off. The whole Covenant net is talking about trying to retrieve the Promethean soul. Okay, so we know what's going on for once. Dalton, who have we got close? Looks like Majestic's your best bet there, Commander. Tell them to saddle up. They're headed to Galileo Base fast as you can get them there. They're picking up a package that Crimson holds down the fort. Galileo, Galileo! Oh! Did someone turn off the mini reactor? Well, it's not always science today, Doc. Science is gonna kill us all. If you don't Science is gonna kill us all. And wipe Galileo off the map. Why is nothing ever simple? Head back here, Crimson. Hurry. Lucas. Did yeah? you hear that? Science is gonna kill us all. I mean, yeah. Fair point, fair point. <laughs> Should have known this wouldn't be the end. It's never easy. And I'm all out of ammo on that gun.
on it commands it. I don't know. Okay. He dies. <laughs> you got it. Dead. Go this way. Yawning, probably because the screen is bright. Okay, oh no. It's never easy, is it? Nope. But at least the saws keep respawning. I'm happy. Oh. One boy left. Take him down. Oh, okay. You've still got some Promethean stragglers, Crimson. Oh, what the hell? Y'all weren't here before. That's illegal. Um, excuse me, where is your passport and ID? Cheating. open a cold one. I got a rocket launcher and a sniper rifle literally at the end. <laughs> and I didn't get to shoot anything. Wife of a hippie? A uh, Mississippi.